Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've recorded a video. I'm actually here to do a hair topper review. However, before I do that, I just wanted to do a little bit of a channel update. So if you're here for the review, I'm going to be reviewing the Uniwigs Hope Wavy Topper, which I'm very excited to check out. I will leave the timestamp down below if you want to skip ahead to just the review, or you can hang out here and hear my channel update. Okay, so let's start off with the fact that comments are disabled on my videos. Actually, all of my videos across my channel. I've been here for 10 years now, so that's a lot of videos, and you guys are not able to comment down below. Um, I believe it's still happening as of the day I'm filming this video. I don't know if it's going to change at any point. I actually know nothing. I think it has something to do with um, channels that have kids in in as part of their channel and of course I have a lot of videos from way back when with my kids and whatnot so my channel was affected um, I cannot control it I know that I can't enable comments down below so that's kind of sad um, I hope it's not a permanent thing if I find out anything I will let you guys know but um, another way you can communicate with me is on Instagram I will leave the Instagram account down below the one that I use most frequently I often post stories there you can DM me if you want to chat about this video or whatever I believe it Link down below. That's the only way I can think of communication right now because I haven't used my YouTube Facebook in years and years and years. So I should actually probably go log on to that if I remember what the login is. But <laughs> that's the first thing I wanted to touch on. The second thing I want to touch on is my hair. Well, it's not looking its finest today. But, you guys, my hair has been growing. I know I mention this in every video. It's been getting healthier and healthier. It's been coming in so much more. Like, I don't think I've had hair. This is my own hair up here. I'll talk about what's down here after. But all of this is my own natural bio hair. And the only thing I can attribute it to is the fact that my colon has been healthy now. We're going on two years. And I think I had colitis even well before I was aware I had colitis. And of course I'm a celiac as well. So I have a lot of gut health issues. And if your body's not absorbing, able to absorb nutrients, it's not gonna go to your hair or your nails or anything. So now that um, I've been in treatment for two years, that's the only thing I can attribute it to. Because I swear my hair is never, I mean, it's not amazing, but for me, this is pretty, pretty fabulous. So. I actually decided to put hair extensions in. The reason is because I had a cruise that I got to go on a free cruise with LuLaRoe. We went on it last year and uh, we just came back from it a couple weeks ago now. And I just really wanted to know if I could get away with not wearing a wig or a hair topper. As much as I love my wigs and hair toppers, I just felt like my own natural bio hair was getting to the point where I might be able to put in a very small amount of extensions, just not for length, just to kind of, add a little bit of volume. So I did. I went and I saw, um, there's like a hair extension specialist place here where I live and uh, they do the Vogue Pearl technique. I can talk more about that if you guys want to know more about that, but I think it's a really cool technique because it's really easy on my hair. My hair is still very fragile and is always thin, but I went and saw her and wanted to know if she thought I had enough hair up here to hide the tracks of extensions down below. And she said, yeah, let's just do, I think it was called a mini pack or something like that. It's not a ton of hair, but um, yeah, there's hair extensions in. It's pretty much the same length as my own bio hair. There's two rows of it. And if you want another video on that, let me know. And I went on the cruise and I was able just to rock my own hair. And it's been a long, long time. And I am so excited about it. I don't know if my hair is going to continue to improve, if it's going to go back downhill. Either way, I still love all my wigs and my hair toppers. Um, I still am, intend on keeping them and playing around with them. And if you guys continue to want me to review pieces I have no problem with that but I also didn't want to come on here and act like I was wearing them all the time because clearly I'm not this is how I'm rocking my hair so like I said this is not freshly washed hair probably could have done that for you guys but I'm loving rocking my natural hair I love that I have the option for both and I just wanted to let you guys know okay third thing before I finally started this review is about the topic I have been doing for the past several months now kind of my spiritual journey I actually have pre-filmed as of last month like over a month ago my next video for April but for whatever reason I just don't feel it in my heart to edit it and post it that's the only way I can really describe it my channel is very much how I'm feeling in the moment what's going on in my life what I'm interested in things like that and it just hasn't 
reached a priority in my life and I'm not sure why to be honest you might still see the video because I like I said it's all filmed I just have to finish edit editing it and get it ready to go but I'm just not feeling like I want to I don't know explore the next topic so maybe this is a little hiatus um, maybe I'll come back to this in the fall I, I know summer is coming and you know that brings a whole new thing with me wanting to be outdoors and being super busy with work and whatnot. And maybe come fall, I'll get back into the groove of it. But for now, I just want to let you know, if you don't see videos on my spiritual journey topic, it's just because I'm not feeling it in the moment. So who knows? Maybe I'll come back with a whole new topic. Maybe I'll start it up again. I don't know. This, this channel is just how I'm feeling in the moment. So those are your updates. And now on to the hair review. All right let's dive into this beauty you guys know as always you know is one of my favorite companies i think their hair quality is fantastic especially for the price their prices are awesome um, they have synthetic they have real human hair and i have a 15 percent off coupon code down below so you can save even more money i just think that they are fabulous and this is the beauty right here this is the hope wavy synthetic topper oh my goodness it actually matches quite well with what I have in my hair right now and I love the waves in it these kind of like big beachy loose waves I believe this is an 8.5 by 9 inch base so it's quite a large base there is some stretch to it some give to it which I always love I find it easier to put on a hair topper when it has some stretch and then of course it has the lace front which I think just looks so so natural you could still incorporate your own hair if you wanted to or you could bring it right up to the front so if you have a lot of hair loss like I used to right right up to the front you could just bring it up to the front and then what hair you do have underneath can still show but um, the hairline is taken care of so I really like the option of the lace front let's show you the part here there's my finger behind the part and their lace is always nice it's nice and fine this is the color almond frost you guys know i always get the shade almond frost because i just feel like it suits me and i'm guessing this length is maybe 16 inches possibly 18 if it's straight so i'm gonna go ahead and get a pair of scissors i'm gonna trim the lace for you guys and then try it on all right, so here she is on my head. I had to pull back my own hair because it was a little bit longer than this. So I'm guessing that this is 16 inches and I brought up the website down here below because with Uniwig, sometimes it's hard to tell if it's synthetic or real human hair because their synthetic quality is so good. So this one is actually synthetic, which I love because for a wavy piece, that means it's gonna hold these curls when you wash it. It's going to stay this way always, which I think is so fabulous. This. I just love a good beachy wave and curl in the summertime. It's just my favorite. The color, as always, is just fabulous. I'm trying to lightly kind of separate them, but I don't want to lose them too, too much, like loosen them too much. So see, there's some of my real hair, not my real hair, my extension hair slash my real hair peeking out. So that's what she looks like. I pulled it right to the front just to cover up my real hair. But what I would do is probably just kind of trim some of these pieces a little bit so that there's like little baby hairs coming out from the part line just to make it look a little bit more natural. I love the subtle rooting. I think that that is fabulous. I will pull some of my own hair out even though it's not wavy just to show you what that looks like in comparison to pulling it right forward on top of my head. But before I do that, let's just read here. So it looks like it comes in a bunch of different colors, brunettes and blondes, which is awesome. Yes, 16 inch length. Um, it's probably customizable though if you want to go longer I would assume they're usually pretty good about customizing um, density is 130 percent which is pretty standard head coverage is top and crown because it's such a large base it's a mono base and is that all I wanted to say I think so so let's play around with this I'm just putting my computer down and see if I can pull out some of my own hair and see the difference that that makes also, I was lucky that the clips lined up in a way that they didn't clip into my hair tracks because that would not be good. So that is my own hair coming out right here. And because I trimmed the lace back all the way, I'm able to pull some of my own hair out. And that's also another way to kind of make it look a little bit more natural. And you can always fluff up if you, if you have you know, some hair at the front here, you can always fluff it up a little bit, blend it in, or as always, I love the good twist. If I was gonna do a twist, I would pull out 
even more of my own hair and kind of start twisting backwards this way and then it's your own hairline showing through but that's another way you can wear it you don't have to wear it right to the front and then they're just pressure sensitive clips pulling it down I never find these pieces hot or heavy on top of my head I think they're amazing and I think that's all I can say about this another great piece from Uniwigs it's synthetic so it's going to keep the curl if you have any questions let me know unfortunately you can't leave it down below this video you can come to my Instagram if you like ask me questions there um, and then I was going to say let me know if you want me to continue reviewing pieces um, even though I have, you know, my own hair is growing back and I have extensions in, are you still interested in me reviewing hair toppers and wigs? I'd like to know that. I wish you could leave a comment down below. Maybe just thumbs up this video. That might help. Or again, come to my Instagram. But I think that's about it. So another beautiful piece from Unawigs. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.